Hello and welcome to Pay the Pullman. My name is Madison. Today we're going to walk through six easy steps of signing up for Pay the Pullman. Number one, navigate to www.paythepullman.com. You'll see this page here and you want to click on this free trial link. This will give you $50 off your first month so you can give Pay the Pullman a try. You'll fill out your information, including your credit card information, activate your account through your email, and then you'll log in. When you log in, you'll see this page here. This is your company settings page. Here on your company settings page, you're going to see a blue rectangle at the top. You'll have highlighted information that needs to be completed below. You can scroll here to see the fields that need to be completed, and then you can save the information at the bottom. Once you've saved that information, it's time to import slash add customers. Let's look at those options. We have QuickBooks Desktop, QuickBooks Online, or Skimmer Importer. These are your three importing options and we'll take a look at what each of them mean. QuickBooks Desktop is going to be if you're coming from QuickBooks Desktop to pay the pullman, you'll download your Excel file from QuickBooks, send it to our support, we'll check it for you, send it back and unlock your importer for you and this video shows exactly how to do so so check that out if you're coming from quickbooks desktop the second option is quickbooks online you'll sign into your quickbooks online account and import customers that way there's a video on our youtube page that shows exactly how to do so so check that out for further information and then finally skimmer importer this is going to be for customers coming from Skimmer as well as customers coming from any other database and I'll show you how. So this video shows you how to upload if you're coming from Skimmer and you can just choose the Skimmer file that you're given to upload here. But let's say we're coming from another database or maybe we didn't even have our information online before, maybe we were using pen and paper, our support team can send you a file to fill out. And it's a very simple um, CSV file that you'll enter the information and upload your customers all at once. So let's take a look at uploading that file. So say we filled it out, we're ready to go. We hit open. We see the name of our file show up here. We click start import. So now we see our customers populate below with all the information that has been filled out and we can even add them to billing. So we see this account only had two customers to add from that file, but what we can do is go ahead and add that customer to billing. So let's say primary list, let's say we want to email them, let's say we want to charge them for pool service, we can change the description, we can make this taxable or not taxable, we can change the price. The price is gonna auto-populate from what's preset in the income items for this item, so you can always change that beforehand if you'd like, but if not, you can just edit as you go if that's easier for you. You can add special options like auto-charge for chemicals, and once everything looks good, go ahead and click import. Now, all of the importing options are gonna look pretty similar, but this is what it's gonna be like if you're importing using the skimmer importer. Now, as a reminder, if you exit out of this page, it will not save the progress you've made, so make sure you have time to go through your customers and import them at once. But let's take a look at what it would look like if you exited out. The page will just look blank again after you come back, so make sure you keep that in mind. So let's take a look at a customer and what you'll see once they're imported. So once you've imported customers or added customers, you can add customers from this button up here just by entering their information, adding them to billing over here, and clicking save. Or you can add them down here with this create button and the add customer, which is just kind of a smaller view of the same thing. Um, if you're on a mobile device, this is a lot easier to view, so I definitely recommend checking that out. But once you have customers added, you can access them from this customer button down here in your tabs bar or this customer button up in your menu bar. So let's take a look at a customer's page and see what it will look like. So once you have your customer added, you'll log into their page and you're going to see their dashboard populate. Now I see here this customer's on billing. We can see their balance, pending extras, if they have a filter cleaning being tracked with us if they have um, service date, their last service date, and unpaid invoices, as well as quick action buttons over here. So this is the customer dashboard, and there's a video detailing things about the customer dashboard, but the most important for getting started is gonna be auto billing, and you can make sure 
that all the settings are correct here. You can edit and change anything. You can save changes. Um, anything you need to do with auto billing can also be accessed here. So after we have all of our customers added to auto billing, we have them imported into the system and they're ready to go. We're going to go ahead and route. So we'll do that by heading over to the plus control panel and we need to make sure we have an employee first. Routing is done per employee. So head to employee center and either add a new employee or if you've already added an employee, you can change permissions and just make sure everything's in order. And then we can click routing, service routing. So now let's select who we're going to route, say tech one. And what we're gonna see when we first log in is gonna look more like this. Let's remove these customers to take a look at that. You're gonna see this button here. So to route Monday, we just click and we can scroll down and we can drag and drop customers. Now we see some customers are green and some customers are red. Green customers are already on a route. Red customers are not. All of your customers will be red at first. And you also have these filter options. You can sort between active, inactive, all, residential or commercial, or you can search customers. So we would recommend making sure that if you do have billed customers, make sure you search active so anyone getting a bill is on the route. And then if you don't use billing, you just search your inactive customers or you can search all together if you have some different requirements. So then from there, we'll just drag and drop and we can sort through the list how we'd like it. This is gonna be the list in the order how it shows on the Plus app for the technician, so make sure it's what you'd like it to look like. You can also click this drop down arrow to see a best route, and it'll give you some options on who to route this customer by for the most optimal routes. And then you can close that, and that's just a suggestion. You don't have to use that. But let's say we'll just route our customers and if we wanted to optimize this route we just click optimize on Monday and we see the route optimize and we can save that and we're good to go so optimization will go between the first and last customer so if you know who you want to start with or end with make sure they're dragged into the first and last spots to route between there's a complete routing video showing you more information, but that's kind of the basics. You just drag and drop for the day, build out routes for the employees, and you're set. So the last thing we're gonna do to finish setting up our account is go ahead and link our Stripe account. And Stripe is the third-party provider Pay the Pool Man uses to allow you to process credit cards through your account. We'll just click Settings. We'll scroll down to the bottom, and we'll click Add Credit Card Processing via Stripe. It's 2.9% plus 30 cents per transaction to use Stripe, and that's charged to you, the company, but we have a convenience fee feature that will put that charge back on the company or the customer afterwards. So you can check that out for sure, and there's a video detailing the convenience fee feature as well. So you just click here, and it's gonna take you over to sign in to your account for Stripe or create an account for Stripe. You walk through the steps. It usually takes about 24 hours to start processing cards with Stripe. And then after your first card is processed, it takes about a week for them to verify that charge. And then you'll get your deposits within 24 to 48 hours after that first verification is completed. So keep that in mind. And if you do want to receive money from your customers quicker, go ahead and make a charge on your account so you can get the ball rolling. But that's what it's going to look like for linking your Stripe account. And at that point, you've got your customers added, you've got your billing set up, you've got your customers routed, and you're able to accept cards through um, Pay the Pullman. So at that point, you're pretty much set up and you're ready to get rolling. There's a lot of features in Pay the Pullman that can make your life very easy and a lot of cool things to check out, but those are things you can learn as you go. These are the main important features to get you set up. If you have further questions about features mentioned in this video or other features available in the program, please reach out and let us know and we'd love to help walk you through those. You can reach us by text or call at 951-234-5166 and we're open 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Monday through Friday. We'd love to take your call. We'd love to receive your text message as well as email at support at paythepoolman.com. So whatever option works best for you, please reach out to ask questions or get further details and we'd love to help. Okay.
Thank you.